In today's war, we've got Zeus, gods of Mount Olympus, I think it is. Season 7, War 2, we got off to a great start with ISO A, and now we're up against Zeus, a tough alliance, they're going through a little bit of restructuring um, this season, so not up to their normal selves, but still a really strong opponent. First war up, OGV versus Blade. Um, I think I mentioned this on the, I see him so often here, same with Dubes. We just, uh, we see him all the time, and with OG Vision, it's really straightforward. Yeah, um, <laughs> I mean, the, the power reserve, I've constantly got a special, so I'm keeping him under power, under power control. Don't have to do anything special here. Uh, you can either, you know, get your parries off, you miss a parry, just beta heavy. Uh, nice and easy, so I'm going to speed some of this footage up and get ready to move on to me getting absolutely wrecked in the worst possible way um, in forever. Uh, I can't remember dying this horribly uh, here coming up uh, like you'll see in a long time. So enjoy, because <laughs> hopefully it will not happen again is the goal. All right, so blade down, no big deal. I'm gonna move up to my next node Get my numbers, hop off, go to Lens Bot, Scouter Bot, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I know Muhammad's got a 565 void, but I just want to confirm that, that, that that's who I'm actually going up against. So come back in. I know it's void. Here we go. Make sure uh, I'm boosted. Bigger boost this time. Uh, those first few fights I usually do with either low or no boost. Just depending on who I think is there, how close the war is, that kind of thing. But uh, low boost typically. Uh, this time, you know, I've got uh, got the big boost, the combat regen. Now you'll see I've got three points up in my masteries. I have on recoil, but I did not put po well three points. Maybe I didn't put points in. Uh, Oh yeah, I've got suicides on, uh, but I left off three points because I normally might put them into uh, liquid courage. So I should have double edge max and uh, some points in uh, recoil. But going into this fight, basically, uh, I, I'm just going to use my special threes right here. I would like to try to wait out his uh, timer. There we go. He's not wanting to uh, cooperate, so I was like, you know what? I'll just get this 20th hit in with. Uh, with the special three. And that did some pretty good damage right there. So like I said, his special three does some pretty good damage. Uh, right now it's all about just playing it safe, baiting heavies. Uh, I'm gonna try not to trigger his uh, masochism as much as possible. But yeah, this this time I didn't mess up. I actually have the suicides on. I've got the recoil on. Uh, it's no big deal, because I don't plan on using too many specials. And with Void, uh, it's actually, I, I really like baiting his special two. I mean, I can fully evade and punish his special one also, but his uh, special two, not too bad. Right there, I remember thinking to myself, man, I better make sure I'm quick enough on his heavy, and then boom, he throws a heavy out of nowhere, lays me out, takes, uh, what was that, like 30% of my health. And of course, it's a petrify, so my power gain uh, is, uh, is affected. But get right up back up in there. Get that debuff off debuff off of me. He's down to 14%. As long as I play it safe here, no big deal. I uh, should have this under control. Still got plenty of life left. Uh, his debuff's not gonna kill me. And void down. No big deal. A little bit of a you know, a little bit of a rough rough go there when he hit me with that heavy. But otherwise, uh, pretty straightforward. Alright. Uh, next up. It's a six star duplicated rank two Killmonger, which, you know, I've done the 565 plenty of times. This guy's got a little bit more health. I'm, you know, it's, I'm not intimidated or anything. It's like, okay, well, I've done this fight a lot. Uh, let's, uh, you know, my boosts are good. Let's go. So I'm getting ready to die three times to this guy. Three times. First, he starts out. And doesn't and plays all passive. He won't throw his special, and I know that I'm limited on time here. And I'm like, all right, you know what? Screw it. I gotta, I gotta go. And as soon as I try to do my normal punish, he he throws his special, and it basically intercepts me with his special. And I'm like, well, this isn't good. And then I get hit by a heavy attack. Now I'm cornered. I do not like this. 
So I start to find my way out. I'm like, okay, stay calm. We're good. We can still, you know, put in some good work. All right, lock him down. All right, back to baiting and punishing as normal. Now, I, I felt like this whole fight, every time I dashed back and intercepted with my light attack, that it was like, it was slightly delayed. Now, that was just a huge mistake. I attacked into him. I thought it was going to expire. I attacked into him when he had uh, the unblockable charges, and I thought, oh, God. Ugh. Now, <laughs> one punch's comment there of, phew, that was a terrible fight, I was actually referring to his fight. Uh, so, a couple of us just crap in our pants right now. I was like, all right, let's go. Uh, I'm going to heal, heal magic back up. Let's do this again. No big deal. I know, uh, I know what needs to be done. I know, you know, how to do this fight. So we'll hop back in here. Like, okay, focus up. So I'm focused. I'm in a nice, quiet place. I'm trying to get him to those special he does. I mistimed the L1 evade. Throws a heavy and I'm dead. Didn't do a lick of damage. Oh man. At this point I was I was pissed. <laughs> I'm like what the F <laughs> uh, I couldn't believe it. I just could not believe it. I have I haven't had anything like that happen I don't know if ever, but that that hit uh the L one of eight like just got me. I mean, I obviously mistimed it, but that's not something that uh, should happen uh, hardly ever. So I'm like, all right, one more time. I'm itemed out now, so this is my this is my last attempt of magic. You know, let's go. Let's let's actually put in what we're here to do. This is our fight, man. We know this fight. It's no big deal. We've done it a ton of times. So there. Finally got a good, got him to throw it, and I got the uh, evade, like I, you know, felt like I should have uh, that last fight. So here we go again. All right, no big deal. With the evade. Now it's time to do the uh, light intercept on his dash attacks and power lock him. So now I can parry, but if I, you know, if I don't want to, I can just continue to do the uh, dash back, punish with the light. Like I said, I felt like they were just a little bit delayed, so I think that comes into play. Yeah, see right there. They were just a little delayed on being able to punish it, man. He just smacked me right across the, right across the chin. So I'm in limbo. I should heal up quite a bit. Yeah, I got about 20% there. Throwing the power lock down. I got him down to 50%. Over two minutes left. I'm, I'm in good shape. I'm not concerned about my time at all. Like I said, just keep him power lock. But yeah, a six star rank two's got quite a bit of health. So I don't, I don't know. I mean, that obviously didn't have anything to do with it. I just, uh, I just misplayed those first two goes and just got worked. So here I am pouring it on, back up to 54% health, which is nice. And I think I've only got, yeah, I've only got one point in uh, recoil for this fight. I dropped from, uh, dropped 5% there, but I'm still healing with every activation. Uh, Reverberation is doing no damage because he's at zero power when it activates. That is, it doesn't scale as his power goes up, so it's wherever he's his power bar is at. Just for anybody that didn't know that, it's where his power bar is at when reverberation is activated. So I got a nice stand-up intercept. I'm pouring it on. Life is good. Dash back, light attack. Okay, no reverb damage. I'm good with that. Two, three, four. And man, once again, it just seems slow. Like, I just couldn't react fast enough. And I, like I said, I've done that fight so many times. And um, this this particular war, I felt, like, I felt like every time I dashed back and hit that light intercept, like I was cutting it so close. Uh, so I'm like, man, I can't bring magic. Who does Raz have? He's got Blade and Stark. He can't even get Danger Sense. I'm like, all right, I know that Sentinel can hopefully finish off this last 40k. Uh, I won't trigger any debuffs. I'll just have to fight him, you know, pretty well just straight up. And uh, hopefully I can, you know, pull out the victory. So yeah, super rough war. Um, I do get him down, spoiler alert, uh, I do get him down this attempt. So it starts out good, no reverb damage. Life is good, nice little intercept, down to 14%. I remind myself, don't attack into his block. <laughs> yes, please. He's 
got those charges. You can still do the light intercept uh, attack method with Sentinel. So I'm kind of just going that route. I want to bait this special so I don't have to uh, parry or take much block damage. But man, he gets me back all the way to the corner. But he throws it, thankfully. And I'm able to work my way out a little bit. Now I'm, I'm kind of left with no choice. I'm like, alright, I'll take the reverb damage. He threw two heavies in a row. Oh, I triggered masochism. Not good. And I thought I could dash out of it. And thankfully, he's so crit resistant. I mean, I took the SP too, but he didn't crit on any of it. So I'm just like, this is horrible. And he, because he just threw it, I'm going to do no damage on my special two, on my special three. Because of his shielding. So, just, yeah. Just a cluster, man. Just a cluster. Okay, so now I've got room to work. Let him throw a special two out in the middle of the uh, out in the middle of the map. It's a lot easier that way. That weird timing special one. I know I'm close here, so just block. Let him throw a heavy. Finish him out. I'm like, oh, thank God this war's over. This was this is hands down the worst war I've had in a long time. Uh, we had a pretty comfortable lead, so I went ahead. Hopped into this fight. Obviously, I can't potion up or anything. But it looks brute force, poison. I mean, you know, five, a six star mutant champ. There was nobody it could be that would really be too hard. So, didn't heal up for this one. Obviously, like I said, I'm out of potions. Going here with OGV. Uh, I can parry him if I need to, but I will try to get him switched. So, I don't know how long it takes sometimes. Um, you just gotta play the fight as it comes to you. But I can parry him all day long, so I'm not concerned whatsoever. If I get him to dash back, then of course I'll uh, I'll try to do the uh, switch trick. But there, his SP3 did 18,000, so yeah, he gets some good damage on that special three. Okay, he dashed back, throw my light, sweet. He's down to 40%, but he's not gonna evade anymore. I can just go to town as normal uh, because I do have you know recoil on and stuff, and I'm low on health. I'm not using specials. Just gonna hold them unless it's a killing blow. I would have used one there, but that was my final contribution to this war because I am tapped. Um, I think someone else did go in on the uh, Morningstar boss, and I came in. I might have come in and uh, and cleaned it up with uh, Sentinel, but not pretty, not fun. We did end up taking the victory. Uh, good job to you guys over in Zeus for giving us a nice scare. And uh, until next time, fellas, we'll see you on the battlefield. We are currently two and zero. Take care.